Let's proceed with the reading and explanation. Then came the night of 14 April. The sky was clear and the sea was calm. So on the night of 14th April, everyone on board was very happy that they were sailing on the most luxurious ship. Nothing was wrong with the weather. Everything was fine. The sky was clear and the sea was also calm. There were no big waves, no jerky sailing. Everything was just as fine as it could be. Many of the passengers were asleep. Captain Smith knew that there were icebergs nearby. So, he told a man to keep watch from the top of the ship. Most of the passengers were fast asleep. But the captain of the ship wasn't asleep because he knew that there were large icebergs in this part of the Atlantic Ocean. And he had also asked a guard to keep watch from the top of the ship. What is an iceberg? An iceberg is a huge piece of ice floating in the sea. A large part of it is hidden under water and cannot be seen easily. It is an extremely dangerous thing for a ship. This causes many accidents and shipwrecks. Children, shipwreck is an accident in which a ship is destroyed or sunk at sea. Suddenly at 11.40 p.m. the man saw something. He grew cold with fear. A huge iceberg stood. A huge iceberg stood right in the path of the Titanic. Iceberg, he yelled. Just underline this word, children. He grew, grew cold with fear. I just want to tell you, children, when suddenly you see something which you were not expecting, what happens? Your expressions change. Your body becomes cold. And you may even begin to shiver. Now just look at me. I will show you this expression. Now children, when you are happy, so there is a smile on your face. Hi, like this, you are so happy. But suppose, what happens? You just see something which you were actually not at all expecting. Then this is smiling face. You know the expression of this smiling face? They change. How? My expressions changed because just now I saw something which I was not expecting. This word yelled. Yelled means to shout. When you shout loudly for something. And this man actually saw this huge iceberg. Therefore he shouted. And he saw this iceberg with the help of binoculars. And what are binoculars? They are a pair of tubes with glass lenses and we use them to see things which are very far away from us and we are not able to see them clearly with your eyes. What had this man seen? Yes, you are right kids. He had seen a huge iceberg right in the path of Titanic. Therefore, he shouted, he yelled. On top of his voice to tell the captain 
about the iceberg which was so near. Captain Smith fought hard to steer the Titanic away from the iceberg. But the ship changed the direction slowly and her side scraped the mountain of ice. Please underline steer and scraped. The captain of the uh, ship really tried hard to turn the direction of the Titanic by steering, by moving. Just like your parents might do if some vehicle suddenly comes in front of their cars or scooters in order to avoid accidents. Now please watch this small clip wherein I will show you when I am on my scooter and suddenly something comes right in front of me and how I change the direction in order to avoid accident. You just saw children how I changed the direction of my scooter. In the same manner, Captain Smith also tried to change the direction of the ship. However, because the ship was so big and huge, it took time to change the direction. And unfortunately, the side of the ship scraped. It got rubbed against something. What was that? Yes, it rubbed against the mountain of ice. That is the iceberg. Let's proceed to the next line. A shard of ice fell onto the decks and the iceberg cut holes along the ship's side. The moment the ship hit the huge iceberg, there was a shower of ice as if it had begun to snow and the sharp edges of the hard ice damaged the side walls of the ship making big holes. Water began to pour into the lower decks. Most passengers heard nothing and slept on. Now, the water from the ocean started to enter into the lower decks through the holes. And still, most of the passengers were fast asleep and hadn't heard anything. Captain Smith and his crew could not stop the water flooding through the ship. Now, Captain Smith and his crew could not stop the water filling into the ship. Children, crew is a group of people who work on a ship or an aeroplane together because the captain has to steer the ship. However, the other work is done by the crew. I am sure you must have seen that the pilot flies the aeroplane and his team does other work. They knew that the Titanic was in great danger. The unsinkable ship was sinking. So now the captain and his team realized that the Titanic was in great danger and was sinking. It was going down. At 12.15 a.m., Captain Smith sent urgent messages on the ship's radio asking for help. Help! Titanic sinking! Come quickly! Then he ordered the crew to wake up all the passengers. Captain Smith started 
sending messages through the ships radio to all the ships around asking for help children as radio messages cannot be long so he sent short urgent messages like help the titanic is sinking and when no one responded he immediately ordered his crew to wake up all the passengers now time to watch the next video for a quick recap of today's class